Hello, good morning. How's it going? Oh, I see people hopping in already. How exciting. I am thrilled to be here. I took last week off because um, my mother-in-law was visiting. And uh, if you remember, I had her on um, two Wednesdays ago, which was a ton of fun. We went through all of her projects and that was fun. But anyway, let's get started today. My name is Heather, and I am the owner here of UU you, 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 excuse me, UU you Yarns, a small boutique yarn brand I started myself. We sell all merino yarn in a nice big rainbow of colors. So if you're looking for a washable project, we have fingering weight, sport weight, worsted weight, and bulky weight. So a little something for everything. And yeah, I can't believe I don't have a skein in my hand, actually. Ah, here's the bulky. <laughs> well, hello there. So today, I just dropped a new free pattern, like literally minutes ago. I printed it off the printer. Here she is. Oh boy. I showed this uh, two, three weeks ago. I showed this hat pattern. I knit it for a friend of mine, so I don't actually have the sample on hand at the moment, but this is the new uh, reversible ribbed beanie. I called it the Roxana, and it is now live on our website. How's everybody doing today? I didn't even... Oh, hi Megan. Good morning. My sweater is amazing. I am, I am, you know, I love hearts. And then when it's Valentine's season, you can find them in like every store. But that is also what I have part of to talk about is some heart stuff. Because you might also remember, I put this adorable little heart tag on this beanie. And now we carry them on our website so you can get pastels neutrals brights anyway we have a lot to go over so before we get started why don't you uh drop a hello in the chat megan has already said hello so let me know where you're joining from I am here in San Diego near, or Oceanside near San Diego in California. And it's going to be about 68 degrees today. <laughs> it's been chilly, but we're getting rainy this season. But um, we have a little sunshine for the weekend and everyone in town is so excited about it. <laughs> Oh, hi, Tina, your first visit from Ohio. Great. My parents are from Ohio, so I spent a fair amount of time going there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's nice and sunny and I can get away with just a little light sweater, <laughs> which feels wonderful. It's Wednesday, so that means I have my local sip and stitch group tonight. We meet at a brewery and we talk about knitting and we have dinner and usually a beer or a drink and oftentimes we end up ripping out what we knit at knit night <laughs> but that's okay because it's fun to just hang out and chat with knitters oh a six-week stay in Destin Florida very nice hi Linda oh I forgot to get my project Whoops, <laughs> I'm so excited to get these new tags online <laughs> that I forgot to grab my knitting project. <clears throat> oh, hi, Karen. It is at Bagby in Oceanside on Coast Highway at Bagby Beer. It's every other Wednesday from five to seven. So if you'd like to come, uh, uh, we have a mutual friend that comes. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, I'd love to have you. If anybody's ever in town, we're not far from Legoland. <laughs> but yeah, we meet every other week and it's a lot of fun. Oh, yes. That's uh, who I thought. Yes, we've chatted about you. So yes, Karen, if you'd like to come, please. Yes, it's open. Uh, it's not just about you, you. It's just a knitting group. We all knit about different knit, whatever we want. So it's a lot of fun. So anyway, I was saying I just dropped a free pattern and I am going to go find it for you. And I will put the link here. Here it is. Oh, it's warm in Wisconsin. That's weird because I know you had some really freezing temperatures last week, right? Nice to meet you, Lois. There is our new free pattern, this one. This cool ribbed beanie. So this is actually the wrong side of the beanie when you're working on it. This is the inside of the hat. Uh, here, I have a photo in here. Here we are. So you can see there are the outside of the hat is kind of smooth with a one by one rib here. And then this is a one by one like mistake rib. So you knit one pearl one around and then you knit around. And this is what then the inside of the beanie looks like. So both sides end up looking really cool. And it is just really fun to knit. Like I said, I gave this one away, but I think another one needs to get on my needles. Because it is just a beautiful, squishy hat. So I put a link there in the chat if you would like to take a look at it. I also chose a couple of colors of Baba Bulky if you want to get knitting on it. And like I said, now we have those cute faux suede heart tags up on the site. And they come in tons of cute colors. This is like a light pink, that light blue that I used in the picture bright blue, bright pink. Boy, I have got a theme going on. <laughs> oh, you'd love to find a knitting group in my area, in your area. Hi, Gail. Um, so I actually uh, have my knitting group on meetup.com. So if you have ever, um, actually, I found my knitting group on meetup.com. Uh, I was going to one kind of like a half hour, 45 minutes away. And it was just like too far. It was like I'd spend like four hours just going to knit night. And so my husband said, why don't you just check meetup and see if there's anything closer? So I did. And I ended up finding a group of people um, just here in my town. And I started going. And then as I got more um, like, familiar with the people I asked then if I could do like a branch off at a better time because I was going to like a 10 a.m one and it was getting increasingly hard as uh my business grew to break away like during the work day and really relax and stuff so I decided to um start one in the evening and we started at just a beer garden <laughs> and that was fun, but we all got a little hangry by the end of it. So <laughs> shortly after we started this new like brewery, brew pub place opened in town and uh, yeah, my group has been going um, like, I think it'll be 10 years this summer, maybe nine. I'm going to have to look, but it might actually be 10 years that we've had the group going 
because we spent one year at the beer garden and then <laughs> eight more years we've been at the brew pub and it's um yeah it's just a lot of fun and it's changed over the years um you know people come people go it's not exactly the same people people move away cough cough megan uh, people come <laughs> new people join it's a lot of fun so uh anyway yeah i recommend checking out meetup.com that's where i have it i get more people coming in through that than any other way and um yeah it's just a lot of fun so you can look for groups on there i believe it's free if you're looking to go to a meetup so definitely i'd recommend checking out your area <laughs> yes uh the group misses you megan <laughs> we'll need to have a visit <laughs> oh your local next door that's a good idea too i have seen i haven't seen any groups but i have seen people like <laughs> uh de-stashing yarn on my um on my next door group that's a good idea gail Oh my, Lois, <laughs> minus eight degrees in Wisconsin last night, <laughs> or no, last week, that's crazy. Thunderstorm at 1 a.m., oh boy, that's always exhausting when you don't sleep right for one of those. But anyway, so that is what's going on here at UU. Does anyone have any questions for me? I thought I might, these little tags are so fun. Oh, sorry. Thomas, here's your reminder. Join my meeting. <laughs> Forgot to turn off my echo today. So anyway, I thought I'd show you these little tags are so fun and easy to add to a project. This was another hat I made called, this is called the Baba Beanie. It's another free pattern, just a nice, simple, you know, I have to put it on. It's always the theme. Nice, simple, sort of slouchy hat. This is the largest size. So it's a little loose on me, but it's great for anybody else. It's a one skein project, just like the Roxanna Beanie. And yeah, it's a ton of fun. Nice, simple little pattern. I knit this one in the color red velvet. Um, but I thought one of these little tags could look so cool. Look at how much that just spices it right up. So I just take some thread and go through each side. Just, and then I knot, I take a knot and I go right through my yarn stitch. And the other like thing I like to do, especially on a beanie is you know how the join is not like, it doesn't matter what trick you try. You can always kind of tell where that <laughs> cast on join is. So, what I did on that other one is I put the tag on right, right over that section. And then it's like, oh, perfect. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. I think I'm gonna put this one on there. Super cute. So yeah, those little heart tags are new and they are just a lot of fun like i said they come in three different colors color packs they come in nine different colors so this is the pastels and then we have the brights which has a blue an aqua and that hot pink and then we also have the neutrals who are floating around the packet now <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the neutrals, which is a brown, a tan, kind of a rich sienna tan, and then that's a charcoal. Here they are. Oh yeah, look how cute those are. So yeah, this one's more of a gray, and then brown, and that rich tan. So cute and pretty. So Anyway, that is what is going on. I hope you guys are doing okay. If you have any questions, you can let me know. And um, yeah, 
I I'm sorry I forgot my knitting in the other room today. I have two projects out there. <laughs> I don't even have my little sheet, my daily knitting sheet. Boy, I was just so excited to get that <laughs> this new pattern online. <laughs> So we got this online. I put a link in the chat. You can download this free pattern. And I pulled some colors uh, as yarn kits. So we did red velvet and the saffron color and lavender and teal. And the black. I think that hat would look awesome in the black. What about with like a hot pink? little tag on there. I think that would look great. So that is what is happening around here at UU today. Like I said, I had had my mother-in-law visiting and her show we did together two weeks ago and that was a ton of fun. So if you want to catch that replay, it is on YouTube or it is here in the community. If you open the left sidebar, you'll see a section called live chats. And you can catch up on that one and any of the others. It's a lot of fun. And then we are, um, I'm still working on filing in new classes. I've just been having to catch up on a bunch of other stuff. And I wasn't working quite as much uh, with Pauline visiting. But that is okay. Oh, hi, Lois. Did you use your phone, Lois? <laughs> phone or computer? That's always my first question. <laughs> so if you're on an iPhone, you want to search for the app called Files, and then you'll be able to download. There's an app. Yeah, if you're on an iPhone, there is an app on your iPhone, believe it or not, called Files. And there'll be one that says Downloads, I think. Let me look. So there's an app called Files. And then inside Files, it should just come to a folder called Downloads. Android, but I'm sure there's something similar. I just don't have one. <laughs> so <laughs> those are the easy, easiest ways to get your patterns when you've downloaded them from he, you, you or Ravelry or wherever. And then you can actually organize them all in there. It's a handy little app. Um, but to, you know, I might seem like I'm on the ball here, but honestly, my husband just taught me that like two weeks ago. <laughs> Always in computer hell. <laughs> that is okay. We are here to help. <laughs> We can always email it to you too if that isn't. <laughs> Sometimes it's it's easy. Oh, okay. Hi, Gail. You're going to get back to finishing your quilt top. Very pretty. I'll place an order for the Roxana beanie. And the other one you mentioned, it is called the Baba Beanie. So if you go to our free patterns page. You can go to all patterns and then there'll be a section called free patterns in there on our website and um it's called the the baba beanie and it's in green it's in pistachio uh the photo but yeah it looks like this i'm like standing sideways in that one <laughs> but in green <laughs> so you should be oh i could put a link to it duh one moment I will go and find it. So here is a link since I've been <clears throat> one moment. All right. There is a link to the Baba Beanie as well. Ignore my yarn end. I will leave that in and put a tag on it. There we are. So this is just a great beanie. It is sized for the whole family. Really nice little pattern. Not too many rows, it decreases. It decreases really fast. I hate sitting there with my double points for like 20 rows. 
So I try and decrease pretty fast. <laughs> oh yes, definitely beanie weather. I wear I wear my heart beanie every single morning. And then I thought I'd send, so here are, excuse me, here is a link to all of our free patterns too. There are a ton. Maybe I should have done free pattern February, but there's so many things. There's 12 um, celebration. There's 12 blanket squares, all different stitch patterns, super fun to knit. There's cowls, a coffee warmer, there's mittens. I don't know. There are so many fun projects. Oh, Suzanne suggests Gail start her own knitting group. That is a great idea. That is kind of what I did. Several years of successful friends, new friends, knitting. Yes, pandemic led us to Zoom. Put the word out. You can do it. That is so nice of you, Suzanne. I agree. We also, my group also moved to Zoom during the pandemic. Um, and now we're back in action. It, like, uh, at the brewery again. Oh, any pointers working with double pointed needles? Um, so in my brain, double pointed needles work as st stitch holders, basically. <laughs> so whenever I have my sets of double points, like I have the one that I'm working and I knit across it, and then when I finish the, with that one, it stays in the thing and I move to the next one. So I kind of think of those three or four other ones as like stitch holders. So I'm only ever looking at the two needles I'm working with. And I don't know, that's just kind of how, how they work for me in my mind. Yes, double points can be a cable holder. Hold on, let me catch up. Oh, um, Gail says, will people want to be part of a knitting group when I'm a total knitting newbie? So I think yes. Um, something I uh, talk about at my knitting group, I don't talk about things at my knitting group, but something I really encourage in my knitting group is all skill levels. Um, I, I think it doesn't matter what you're working with. You can be using yarn like you know gorgeous cashmere or like whatever acrylic you got from your grandma i don't care you're knitting you're creating you're doing just as much work it doesn't matter like how skilled how much you spent and none of that matters to me you're making you're creating you're learning and it also doesn't matter how many skills you have like <laughs> i'm always learning you know i've been in the knitting industry for 20 years now <laughs> there's still there are plenty of things i was talking about knitting charts with my friend yesterday and i saw them and i was like oh no i would never knit from that just give me the written instructions <laughs> you know there's all sorts of different things every knitter is different every knitter has a little technique that someone else doesn't know or someone else hasn't figured out yet i don't know i think we can all learn from each other so i don't think being a knitting newbie is a bad thing actually i think it's good because you could actually absorb a lot of things from other more experienced knitters and i think if i think if it's a welcoming environment for everyone that is all the better Yes, exactly. Don't look at your knitting group as a place to learn. Think of it as a social group to chat and talk about life and knitting. Exactly. Some nights I don't even knit. I just go. I love to see what other people are working on. I love talking about knitting. I love talking about yarn. Like, it's more just hanging out with people that also have my same hobby. <laughs> so, uh, it's just a total different set of people than like 
you know, a bunch of my regular friends don't knit. You know, we go out and talk about food or whatever it is. But I also love having my knitting friends. <laughs> and when they overlap, that's fun too. But it's mostly, um, it's nice just to talk about, you know, somebody will say, oh, I got this new pattern from Ravelry. And yeah, check it out. I wonder what yarn I should use. What colors do you think? And then they bring a bunch of colors to knit night and look at it. And we all pick and vote. So um, yeah, it's just a way to expose yourself to more knitting. So I think that's a lot of fun. Yes, see, there you go, Gail. Perfect. Yeah, just think of it in that same regard. You never have to be, um, yeah, not everybody's ever going to be at uh, the top scale level or whatever. I think it's a lot of fun to get together and chat about knitting and yarn and all that fun stuff. Oh, ah, notions. We go crazy on notions. <laughs> I was just looking at some stuff. Um, yeah, there's always like a new, like I said, I've got these new tags, new free patterns. Like they make their rounds in knitting groups. So it's always a lot of fun to just sit and hang out. So yeah, that is... Oh, my shirt and my nails. Oh, thank you. Yes, I am. You know, I love hearts. I put one in my logo here at UU. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is peak. This is peak heart season. I got this shirt. I love it so much. <laughs> I just got it on Wednesday and I've worn it three times. Don't judge. <laughs> And then, yeah, uh, also, what's better than Valentine's and pink pink nails? And so, yeah, I did my nails in a little, <laughs> little medley of reds and pinks last night. So, pink hearts, totally my jam. Also, pink hearts <laughs> on tags. I love these little hot pink ones. So, we love hearts around here. Oh boy. So, that is uh, what's happening. We've got, um, yeah, I put together some yarn kits for the Roxana reversible beanie. There's five colors, but you can knit with any color of Baba Bulky. They're all gorgeous. So they do so well. And it should be a one skein hat pattern. This one is also a one skein pattern. So tons of fun. And pick up those little tags if you like them. And um, yeah, they're faux suede. Really pretty little colors. Oh, hi, Suzanne. Left a comment. We had knitters of all levels, all personalities. Met in my condo clubhouse. Oh, that is a great spot for it. People came from all over. 16 to 20 when we started. In a year or so, it dwindled down. We learned a lot from each other, exchanging creative ideas. We had beginners to a few who had worked at local yarn shop that had closed. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Just do it. Pass the word. I love that idea. It's great that you had a space in your clubhouse to do it. Um, yes, I went to one at a community center and one at um, a uh, like a church rec room. So spaces like that are really good. Now we meet at, uh, well, the one I host meets... Um, at, like I said, a brew pub, but not everybody eats or drinks and not everybody like drinks alcohol. They just come like, maybe they'll have water or lemonade, a little chips and salsa, like, or nothing at all. If they don't want to, there's plenty of us <laughs> eating and drinking to support the restaurant. So it's just nice to have a group 
yeah, I went to one that was like at an Einstein Brothers Bagels. Uh, there was like a little outdoor patio. And yeah, so there's a lot of really fun options for knitting groups. Oh, libraries. Oh, libraries do have good open rooms that they might be able to set aside for you once a week or once every other week. I have reservations just because uh, we have a varying amount of people. Um, and what was I going to say? Uh, oh boy, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Anyway, well, thank you, Suzanne. Those are all great tips. And yeah, it's so fun, just like you said, to share creative ideas and just be social. Like I said, we don't we don't often uh, get a lot of productive knitting done at knit night. I remember it was so funny. We had a knitter who um, she was knitting on double points, like making these tiny sweater ornaments week after week she made one for like everyone in her family but there were just these tiny sweaters on double points oh my gosh so many weeks she would drop drop a double point and we were like on this outdoor patio deck area <laughs> they would inev inevitably roll between the deck boards and we always joke that you know if they ever rip up the deck boards there's going to be like a yarn store worth of double points underneath there <laughs> so uh, there's a couple rules now we have at our Nick, I mean, rules that we have no, like, <laughs> uh, it's don't knit on double points. Um, don't knit in dark yarn and don't knit on projects that are too hard. Uh, so you basically just bring an easy project that you're not going to worry about <laughs> because you might end up having to rip even that out <laughs> magic loop. Oh yeah. I don't know if <laughs> she does even magic loop yet. <laughs> Lois says we have a knitting group once a week we meet at the local library once a month we call ourselves pints and pearls and meet at a local restaurant to eat drink and knit perfect Lois I love that I love pints and pearls that's an adorable name I call my group sip and stitch <laughs> and we meet every other week uh, on Wednesday nights and I don't do every week just because, um, I don't know, it's just, uh, I like meeting every other week because then everybody has had time to knit and has a little bit more to um, talk about. And it's not so, um, like for people that are working, it's hard to come every single week because my group does skew a little bit bit toward working people because we meet from five to seven but it doesn't really matter I think meeting anytime is great and I love that you do a once a month at a restaurant that is that's just that's fun <laughs> I like that you change it up <clears throat> so yeah that is kind of what's going on no uh I was trying to see. I can't believe, like I said, I can't believe I left my project. I don't even have a dog in here today. I don't know. No knitting, no dog. Just me and the yarn. <laughs> so if anyone has any other questions, I've had a lot of fun talking about Knit Night. I didn't realize that was going to be my topic for today, but uh, I, think, I think having a social knitting time is incredibly important uh and i like meeting in person a lot more than i like meeting on zoom um but i think whatever works for you i know well i mean i love having a virtual community too so maybe we should have like a a zoom at night once in a while on here <laughs> oh stitch and bench <laughs> Okay, yes. Uh, yes, a great question, Megan. Megan just asked if these new 
tags are safe to go in water. And I believe they are. Uh, they're a faux suede. They're really soft. They have a really nice texture to them. It's probably, yeah, there. And then that little heart is like smooth there. Um, but yes, I believe they are safe to go in water. Because I that was something that... Um, I was concerned about. I will double check and I will put it, I know it, I didn't put it on the listing, but I am like 98% sure they can go in water, but I will let you know and I will add that information because I forgot. <laughs> oh, Suzanne says it's quite inspirational to have a knitting group. We feed off of each other. Oh, trying to choose colors. Well, thanks, Megan. <clears throat> I know they're all really cute. It was hard to <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I was just going to get one set, but then I ended up, I'm like, no, I need all of them because they look so good on, you know, even though I'm totally like on aquas and pinks and like, these are what I'm drawn to. Like, as soon as I picked up this red velvet, I was like, uh, yes, I want that tan tag on there. How nice would the gray look? Oh, I love that too. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe you won't be able to choose. Maybe you just need them all. <laughs> but no, I don't think you need to remove them for blocking. I will find that info and let you know. So yeah, I hope you will go and download the new Roxana Reversible Beanie. Like I said, it's super cute. It's so squishy when you're working on it and when it's done. And it looks great on either side. And that little tag, even though the heart is only on one spot on the tag, um, it doesn't matter. Like, the tag still looks great, like, on the other side. So, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, if you flip it up and wear it one way or wear it down where you can see the heart. <clears throat> oh, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. With a knitting group, the knitting brings you together with a common thread. Oh, very clever. But then you get to talk about all kinds of life things, including knitting. Yes, I agree. That's always what happened to, um, yeah, around the table at the yarn store. Like, just people end up chatting about all different things. And the nice thing about knitters is you end up with people, there's already a commonality. Like, there's already something to talk about. So you get to meet new people and talk about, um, like you already have a jumping off point of things to talk about and then yes life flows in that's perfect so oh thank you that beanie is adorable i will drop a link to it one more time if anybody wants to come and download it it is a free pattern and now i can't find my tab sorry everybody here we are hmm there we go. And I chose like five colors in that yarn kit, but oh, thank you, Nancy. But it's um it's perfect. You can knit it in any color, any color, blah blah bulky will look adorable. And it's a one skein wonder hat pattern. So super fun to knit. And yeah, that is I think about it today. I'm going to go find some lunch and then, oh, I think I'll wrap up the day with some accounting before I go to knit night, sip and stitch tonight. <laughs> Woo, wild Wednesday. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. It's been a lot of fun. I didn't have a specific topic, uh, but I love that we talked about um, knitting groups and great thank you suzanne yes please knit it and i encourage you to share your photos in the community i love seeing them i will also post a link to the new pattern in there and 
of course, I'll be sending out in an email for my favorite day of the week, Free Pattern Friday. So you can watch for that on Friday. It'll be going live. I put it live today so you guys could have it. But really, it's not going live to everybody until Friday. So there's a little sneak peek for those of you that visited live today. And a little sneak peek jump at these too. So that was a lot of fun. And oh, perfect. The baby blanket. Oh, I love that big, the bulky baby blanket. That's a lot of fun. I love knitting that one. Okay. Oh, Nancy says, wow, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for coming today, Nancy. Looks like we got a bunch of people in today, which I love seeing. I'm so happy when everybody shows up and gives info. So thank you for joining me today and I'll be back next week. It's moving through February. We'll be after Valentine's Day, but don't be, uh, don't be concerned if I'm still wearing hearts because I'm never not going to wear hearts. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you have a great day. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. And yeah, I will see you again next week. Take care.